You want to talk about Gucci Mane's A and R or A and R skills? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what happened? Uh, one of his artists <laughs> arrested first degree murder. But his A and R skills, they from still, what I heard, is this is Ice's yeah. bag yeah. wheelhouse more than mine. But based from what I've heard, his A and R skills A one has A1. basically Facts. put Atlanta on top. One hundred percent. They said his family it, tree is is, 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 is hip hop yeah. at this point. So he's doing something right with his A and R skills. And it just so happens that yo, sometimes like you say, you can all take right, so a nigga out the street. Avoid the real conversation. No, but nah, some nah, niggas nah. have one foot in the street, yeah. one foot out all the time in hip hop. How people are signing them and why people are signing them needs to be under thorough examination from I think all parties involved in the music business, in wow. rap in the last decade, where we have never seen this many people die. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have never seen this many shootings, stabbings, arrests, click, click beef, arrests, Ricos. I have never seen it in hip hop. True. Quite a couple. That conversation play into that. runs concurrent. Well, I'm about to say with, for me and the rest of the musicians, the death of the A and R. Mm -hmm. Musicianship. The death of music musicianship. Like those are together for me. So when I say Gucci Mane's scouting needs to be under report, I mean under examination, it's because this is now what, eight, nine, ten, I don't know, but a whole roster that is just suffering from the different strokes curse. And I don't think it's coincidence anymore. So it's, I don't think it should matter. Back to the me, I'm talking about for me as a rapper, it's scary. Right now. It's scary. Mm -hmm. For quite a few so reasons. So what I'm saying yeah. is, nah, no, but let's not quite a few reasons. It's, it's, I'm, well, I'm, fo to. I'm focusing. Niggas sign niggas. They get their money. They take their money. They do something else with it. Now we went and bought a bunch of guns. We went and bought mm -hmm. tanks. Mm -hmm. now, but if it's not being pushed, marketable, and if it's not being marketed, and if it's not being signed, and it's not being correct, believe I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm then with you 100%. we get into y'all being right so, with the design. Cool. So now you Gucci. And I'm trying to attack the design. So, this is not specifically about Gucci. No, I'm just saying. But, but if you are Gucci and you come from that and you took correct. yourself out of a street situation and you put your family in a better situation and you see young niggas that you think have some potential. And you know Why the path, would I you not try to help path. them? You know the end of that. Gucci almost got killed. He did. You know the end of that path. You know where they headed. So it's like, listen, let me try to save some of you. Let me give you another option. You can lead a horse to water. You can't make them drink, though. I so I can try more. to give you the option. I can try no, to give you the on. out. I think it's short-sighted. But what, what, what you forgetting is that a lot of these... But wait, why do I have to have an alternate plan? I could have the same plan. I could do. I could sign people that I, that I believe in. What are you so you're about? basically saying that his... A and R skills need to be under audit because this is intentional. It's not just him. Oh, he knows. Yeah. And let me not act like I can I speak for him because I, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I do not know that to be true. Mm -hmm. yeah. The optics of it, and that's all we're left with as people on, onlookers, is the optics of it. And it don't look good, and it's not just dumb. Record labels mm -hmm. as well. Like, they all doing it. But me, like, the participants in the game got to start feeling the way at some point. When we be playing Monopoly... Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. Back another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on episode 591 of the Joe Budden Podcast where the conversation of Gucci Mane's artist going to jail came up. And I'm going to have links in the description where you can watch the full episode at and tap into everything going on. Now, I am tapped into Joe Budden Podcast, but I first saw this on TMZ. And it was the headline that stood out where they talked about Joe Budden calls out Gucci Mane and everything like that. And I instantly thought, Bro, I wish TMZ would stay out of black people business sometime. And it's no personal problem or issue or nothing like that. Uh, it just be something that goes on in my head when I see certain things. But that's neither here nor there. Overall, man, I got to stand and support Gucci and everything he got going on. To be fair, Joe Button didn't put it all on Gucci. He was just saying the entities as a whole. He spoke more on it in depth, but he was saying like the labels, whoever's doing this or that. But Gucci, man is doing what Gucci Mane has always done, giving people an opportunity. People that normally wouldn't have a shot, a record label wouldn't sign. Hey, bro, you got style, you got a buzz, you got potential, come on, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to go up. Gucci Mane was doing that when he came in the game. If you look back, 
There's several artists that he's linked to and tied to where traditional artists or the major labels, they would not give these artists an opportunity and they became the, become great superstars. Most niggas will look at it, man, I'm lit. I got millions of views already. I'm established artists. I got hit records. What I look like being in the studio working with you. You ain't got no jury. You ain't got no name. Gucci Mane was the nigga like, oh, you the young hot nigga? And it didn't matter, matter where you was from. If you could get in the room with him, it was gonna work. West Coast artists, Midwest artists, down South artists, East Coast artists. Gucci Mane was rocking with all the young artists coming up. And that's why he's on that today. That's who he's always been. He's just doing it on the label side now. If he wasn't having the actual label and the direct connection to the label as the however they do their business, he would still be doing songs with all these artists that got millions of views or just turning up in the streets already. It's on the artist to make the right decision and what they got to do at the end of the day. This is the design of America for us, just keeping it all the way a thousand. The internet just put gasoline on it. That's why we seeing this going on when you got all these street dudes or dudes with certain backgrounds or gang members are able to actually become rappers. It's a gift and a curse because it's giving them an opportunity to get a way out. But at the same time, some of them ain't been on earth long enough to know, let me transition completely out the way. Or some of them, old demons are haunting them and everything of that nature, man. It's a terrible way for these things to go out when I see these dudes with potential go to jail or go to prison or lose their life fighting demons and everything like that. Rest in peace to Big Scar, most definitely, too. Gucci, everybody over there, the family, hold y'all head condolences. But it's one of them things I feel like this ain't on Gucci, bro. But the imagery, the way it comes off, it's going to look away. Because it's like, okay, these artists, these artists under you. But it's the same thing they were saying about Empire. A lot of these artists ain't signed this, that we see dying. They just was able to build a name in a rap game. You drop a video, you drop a song, you create a YouTube channel, a catalog, you a rapper now. And a lot of them are dying. Then you remember they was going in Empire. Oh, man, all these are. It's not on the people who over them, my nigga. It's the actual concept that's been going on since rap created. The gangster rap lingo, the imagery, the way that the media presents it and all that. But this ain't just on Gucci, man. So tell me what y'all think. We got more coming. Gucci, man, been having a tough year. Uh, I remember he even addressed this conversation before. It was either in that takeoff song or that Stop Dissing the Dead song. I can't remember exactly which one. But tell me what y'all think overall. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit, so stay on your pivot.